uh, I just pulled this out right here and I haven't really cleaned all the dirt off of it but it looks like an acorn and it's got lead backing so that's kind of an interesting find if there's any writing or anything on it I'll post a picture but that's a that's uh, an interesting find Well, this is interesting. I just caught a peek of it right there. Look at that. What is that? Interesting. There isn't anything up here. Looks like it's got a silver finish on it for sure. It says nothing. Don't know. But there's a cellar hole about 300 feet that way. There's nothing else around. So, I'll probably be asking for some help on that one. Keep going. Check that out. The detector picked it up, but I thought it was a stone right there on the surface. It's an ox knob. Look at that. Just That's where it was sitting, right in there. Isn't that interesting? Ox and knob. Haven't got one of those for a while. That's interesting. Okay. Relic time. Woohoo. Okay, I'm on this old cart path. Swinging down, and I got a very scratchy signal, and it was it was way down there. And I thought it might be flat iron, but I dug down and here's what I'm looking at right now. It looks like an old button. Yep, an old dandy. And the shank is gone. Totally gone. I'll clean it up. If it got anything on it, I will let you know. Okay, I'm glad I dug that. Well, got a little scratchy signal here on this hill. And I haven't gotten one of these in a while. Nice big old hem weight. So I think I'll just hit this hill a little longer. I'm right behind an old Kind of where an old house used to be down here. Right down in the green stuff. There's a cellar hole. So, yeah, I think I'll, easy swing in here, so I think I'll keep it going. Well, it was a lot of swinging today. I got a few things, but I just popped this, and that's as much as I've seen, but it looks like a tiny little crotobel. And it is, look at that. Looks like an old one too. Rang up scratchy, but it was hitting there. I thought it was gonna be a uh, bullet casing. Let me clean this off and uh, we'll see it again. Nice. And I know they've got numbers on them. This one looks like it's got a zero on it. I don't know if they made bills with zero. But, oddly enough, it still has a ringer in it. It'll ring better when I clean it up. But that's the beauty. I'm on the 
edge of this cellar hole, what's left of it. Doesn't look like anything, really. I've been here a few other times. And, uh, just pulled up, uh, had something under this big flat rock, you can see. And there's a little bit of pottery in here. And this two-prong fork, which is very cool. I love digging these, no matter what shape they're in. Uh, no question, makes it a home site. Okay, guys, uh, I've been working around this spring right here. I did find a few things last year. Buttons. Uh, iron stuff, but there's a road that crosses. You probably can't see it right there, right where the sunlight is. Just had an 82-ish signal right here, and I got me something green and round, but I don't think it's a coin. It looks more like a button. So let's see what it is. Yep, there's the shank. So... Anything on the other side? <gasps> oh my god! Another GW button? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Let me clean this off a little bit. Holy mackerel. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Let me clean it up. Holy shamoly, look at that. And I think the writing along the side is in pretty good shape. Oh my God. That would make my sixth GW button. I am stoked. Let me take my toothbrush to it and clean it up a little bit. That just, I can go home right now. That just made my day. First target, I think it's my second hole, maybe. All right. Okay, there it is. Number six. I just got one last fall, same style. And now I'm nowhere near that other site. But again, this is an old spring. It pretty much pops up right there. This, let's see, where is it? Right here. I know you can't see it. It's the wagon trail. It goes right down. I'm standing right in the middle of it right now. And then it goes up this way somewhere. Right through here. Right through that sunlight. And I just pulled this. Unbelievable. Happy. On to the next one. Okay, I'm going to try this again. This is where I dug the GW button. And I'm getting another 82 signal. Just a little north of it. Now I can't seem to find it. to be seems to be right under this rock hope I'm still in frame there it is right there what do we got oh this time it looks like a copper man what a hole I don't know what it is. Hard telling, not knowing. Okay, another copper. What the heck is this? 
Okay, I'm gonna let it dry up a little bit so I don't wear off the detail. This is a pretty old site. It wouldn't surprise, it feels like a large scent. All right, I'll be back. Awesome hole, GW button and a copper. Okay, I've been struggling to ID this coin. I thought it might be a Vermont copper because I thought I saw an O over here. Not sure what this is. And I thought I saw, it looks like it's left facing. Well, I'm just flashing it around. Maybe somebody can ID it. And then as I flip it over. I'm seeing potentially, let's see, where's the sunlight? I see a date. It almost looks like a five in there or something. I don't know. But that's a colonial coin. And if anybody thinks they know what this is, I appreciate it. I'll try to clean it a little bit more, but I don't want to lose it too much. So there it is. Mm -hmm.